What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert, here for another daily devotional. So today we're going to be coming from Daniel chapter 6, looking at verses 1 through 3. From the topic, there is another source of excellence. So Daniel chapter 6, verses 1 through 3 from the English Standard Version reads like this. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be throughout the whole kingdom, and over them three high officials, of whom Daniel was one to whom the satraps would give account, so that the king might suffer no loss. Then this Daniel became distinguished above all the other high officials and satraps because of an excellent spirit was in him, and the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. So Darius the Mede is now the new ruler in Babylon, and he has set up a structure where there are satraps, 120 of them, and on top of them there are three high officials, and one of those three was Daniel. And Daniel distinguished himself even among those other two high officials, and they were about to promote Daniel to be the very top in the kingdom below Darius. This by itself just, just spoke to me in a, in a specific way because it tells me that the work that we do, especially the hard work, does not go unnoticed. It does not go unseen because as it says about Daniel, there is a spirit of excellence that was in him and everyone saw it. Student, let me speak to you that your hard work and your diligence in your studies does not Go unnoticed. Employee, notice that your honesty and integrity does not go unnoticed. Mother at home, your work to rear your children does not go unnoticed. The Lord sees and he will reward the work when it's done in a spirit of excellence, a spirit that is right. So in whatever stage of life you may be in, the Lord is not calling us to mediocrity. He's not calling us to averageness. He's not calling us to just being acceptable, but he's calling us to be excellent in everything we do by his spirit. So the question I want to pose to you today, how can you display his excellence and in, in what he has called you to do today? Let me say that one more time. How can you display his excellence in what he has called you to do today. Daniel had a spirit of excellence, and it was on display, and everyone noticed it. I challenge you to be excellent in everything you're doing today, because the Lord is worthy of your excellence. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Daniel's spirit of excellence was seen by all, and it was about to be rewarded by the king. Lord, allow us to exude that same spirit of excellence in whatever state, stage, or position of life that we are in. And allow us to show you off so that we can give you praise and glory and point others to you by the work that we do. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for the excellency that you have placed upon us and by your spirit that you have put in our hearts. And we'll be careful to give your name all the praise, honor, glory, and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to walk through the book of Daniel. God bless you.